everyone, and welcome to Python Pop, a series of quick videos explaining different Python functions and commands. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the fact that you can chain together different comparison operators in Python. So let's see exactly what I mean by that. Let's start off by checking whether a value is between two other values. And to do this, we're going to set our variable x equal to 10. And we're going to say that if 0 is less than x, and x is less than 11, what I want to do is I want to print out yes. Otherwise, if it's not, we're going to say else, and we're going to print out no, sorry. Obviously, we can see that x is assigned the value of 10, 0 is less than 10, so this comparison is going to be true, and 10 less than 11, that comparison is going to be true, true and true, that's going to print out yes. But the point of this video is to show you how to chain together those comparison operators. So we're going to take that same exact code, copy it down below, but this time as opposed to combining them with and, I'm just going to get rid of it. 0 less than x and x is less than 11 can be written as 0 less than x less than 11. Go ahead and run that, and you'll see that it still prints out yes, because 10 falls between those two values. Now, this isn't just used with strictly less than values or strictly greater than. We could also use it with less than or equal to. So if I was to switch this, let's say, to 10, now you'll know that 10 is not strictly less than 10, so it's going to print out no, sorry. But if I made this a less than or equal to, now this comparison that's chained together will be true. And you're probably thinking, okay, yeah, this makes sense. X falls in between those values. Zero is less than X. It's also less than 10, but that's not necessarily the case. Let's take a look at this. I can change this operation up and I can check to see if zero is less than X. And I can also look at if it's greater than, let's go to nine, because we know that 10 is greater than zero. And we know that it's also greater than 9. Or reading this as is, 0 is less than x, x is greater than 9. This will also print yes. So you can see that there's no comparison drawn between 0 and 9. It's only with this x. So we don't even need our comparison operators to point the same way. Better yet, we can even check if our values are equivalent within those chained comparisons. So I can also check to see if x is equivalent to 9. So this is saying 0 less than x, x is equal to 9. This is going to obviously print out no. If I switch this value to 10, we will now get the result of yes, or even a not equals. So you can see here that chaining to other comparison operators simplifies your code and makes it more compact. And what I mean by more compact is look up above. We were able to get rid of and as well as x along with two additional spaces. So right there was four characters in two spaces we were able to eliminate by combining or chaining together these comparison operators. And with that, we wrap up this quick video. If you have any comments on how chaining together comparison operators will help you in your code, leave it in the comments below. Or if you have any questions, put that in the comments below as well. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Happy learning.